Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you why women purposefully hide their attraction mechanisms from men because their entire goal is to conceal their intent. So that way you don't necessarily know where you stand with them. Now, if you stay with me until the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you every single red flag that you're going to have to watch out for. And then I'm even going to show you specific ways to maneuver. So that way you can counter their strategies and have dating success within your relationships. Now today's MBT masculine behavioral technique celebrity spotlight is from James. I will blur out his name and I'll also blur out his profile picture just to obviously keep his privacy, but you can see he posted this. He goes, I have so many numbers now that I don't know who to go out with first, but that's a good problem. Guys, since I'm seeing student successes like this each and every single week inside of MBT masculine behavioral techniques, at the end of today's video, I want you to go down below, click the link in the description and check out that presentation that I made for you. Let's dive in. Now, the biggest reason why women hide their attraction mechanisms from men is because women's entire dating strategy is to conceal their intent. So that way they make you uncertain of their interest level and of their desire towards you. So this is what you have to remember is that women do not want to let you know that they like you. So I'm gonna take this out a step further. Most men are far too obvious. And what I mean by that is they're too obvious with their intent. So what that means is they'll see a pretty girl and they'll instantly look at her or they will instantly validate her. Or what they do is they will verbally state their interest. And what this does is this ruins your seduction and this also ruins any sort of tension that you could have built or any sort of sexual tension that you could have built by her wondering about you or creating some sort of mystery or fantasy in her head. Women like things to develop slowly. Women like things to develop naturally and women like to have that what if factor in their brain where they have to guess to try to figure you out. So women are much better at being discreet. Discreet meaning they conceal their intent. 100% of the time that you're with a woman, she wants you to not be able to fully read where you stand with her, okay? What I mean by that is this allows her to have leverage this is going to allow her to have some sort of psychological perceived power or value in her own head. And what happens is she maintains a sense of psychological control because she wants you to value her. So this is her whole strategy. Okay. Her entire strategy is to conceal intent to make you uncertain of her interest level that she has towards you. So let me give you an example of what that means. You text the woman and you go, are you free Saturday? Okay, inside, she might be sitting there going, oh my gosh, yes, yes, oh my God, yes, I can't wait to see this guy. This is what her, well, this is what her emotional state is telling her. But you will still get a text back that says this, I should be, comma, I'll let you know. What she's trying to do is she's trying to make it so that way you cannot gauge her interest level. And women do this on purpose, okay? So, the second point that we have to address is any display of status Okay, so this is referring to you as a man, okay? Any display of status, any display of wealth, any display of recognition or competence socially will be dismissed and it will be hidden despite that woman's interest rising by the second. That is so powerful. Just read that one more time. Any display of status, wealth, recognition, or competence will be dismissed and hidden despite that woman's interest rising by the second, she does not want you to know that she finds you attractive. She does not want you to know that she has sky high interest. She wants to conceal that intent so that way she has more leverage in the interaction. So let me give you an example. This is equivalent to a girl having nice boobs, but you trying not to look down at them. This is what a woman is trying to do when she's not trying to display or put on display that she has attraction when it comes to your status or potential wealth or potential recognition or competence. She tries to dismiss all of that and tell herself, I'm going to put the frame or the illusion in front of this guy so he thinks that I just like him for him so that I'm trying to figure out his personality. This is her whole strategy. So everything that makes you attractive, she will never overtly tell you because she wants you to wonder. She wants you to wonder if she likes you or not. 
So what she's going to do is she's going to act as if she doesn't notice, or she's going to act as if these things are not a big deal to her. These things are a very big deal. All of the ways that women are able to be attractive and you see a pretty girl and you're like, wow, she's stunning, she's gorgeous. Oftentimes the biggest reasons why men don't know how to be attractive or they don't know what to display is because women do such a great job at concealing their intent. This is why the million dollar question that men ask time and time again is what do women want or what do women find attractive? Because the truth is most men don't know. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Women want to keep it that way. They want to keep it that way so that way you as a man don't see your own value. They want to keep it that way so that way they have more leverage in the relationships and they want to keep you naive so that way you don't necessarily know where you stand or what your sexual market value is. This gives her more psychological perceived leverage. So everything that makes you attractive, she will never overtly tell you. On top of that, she's going to act as if she does not notice. Now, she will try to get you to believe that it's all about chemistry. She's gonna say things like, oh yeah, if me and the guy click well, or, you know, I can't go out with a guy if I don't see that we have chemistry. So what this really means is she'll want you to believe that she's trying to get to know you for you, or trying to get to know you for your personality, all while brushing all of this aside to make you not know or to be unaware that these things, okay, any displays of status, wealth, recognition, social competence, she's going to dismiss all of that to give you the illusion that she's quality or to give you the illusion that she likes you for different reasons. This is her whole strategy. So she will want you to believe that she's trying to get to know you for you and your personality. Now, she knows that this adds to her feminine charm, her sex appeal and her seduction. See what happens when a guy meets a girl who does a great job at concealing all of these things, okay? And she does a good job of concealing her intent and she seems bubbly and charming and cute and playful and seems like she's trying to invest into you and get to know you for you. Guys typically are unaware. So what happens is they go, oh, I, I found a good one. Oh, I found a girl who is not, she's not into all these shallow things that most of the other girls I've met in the past are. The truth is that this girl just does a better job concealing it, which is why she knows that if she plays her cards properly or she lays those cards properly, this is now going to add to her feminine charm, her sex appeal and her seduction. So you start to view her differently. You start to view her like a quality woman. You start to view her in a way where you go, she could never do any wrong, or we have a real authentic relationship, or she likes me for me, or we have raw, real, authentic chemistry. The biggest reason why you have to know this is because she's concealing her attraction mechanisms. Women hide their attraction mechanisms from men, and you have to be aware of this. now. How do you start to know where you actually stand with a woman and what her true thoughts are about you? I'm going to let you know. It's very important to always watch a woman's actions and never trust her words, okay? Her actions will tell you what is really going on in her emotional state. So that means if she's making time to see you throughout the week, she likes you, okay? If she desires to be intimate when she's with you, especially if she's initiating that intimacy, she likes you, okay? If she shows desire by making attempts to show her devotion or to show her loyalty, she likes you. This girl's starting to like you, this girl is starting to fall in love with you, this girl's starting to want you to lead her through life. She views you as her man, okay? Now, on the flip side of that, the second that you trust her words over her actions, watch her lead you astray. Watch the words and the actions mismatch and now there's no congruence and you can see that this woman's losing interest. Her words are designed to mislead you, okay? What she says about you is irrelevant. Always watch the woman's actions, okay? I'll give you an example. There's women where if they say, if they talk about their ex or their ex-boyfriend, they go, oh God, I hate that guy, I can't stand him. But you're gonna notice, Couple times a month, she's still over at his house on a Saturday night. Why? Because that attachment has been built. Her actions show that she still has emotional investment into that man. Always make sure that you're watching her actions. Now, what 
what else you have to do, okay, or another thing you have to be aware of is that since women are concealing their attraction mechanisms that they have for you, avoiding bullshit in your dating life comes down to keeping your sexual market value high and maintaining all forms of sex appeal that you can control as a man. Now, a saying that I like to use, okay, and this really stems into never acting thirsty or never acting desperate, okay, the saying that I like to use when it applies to a person's dating life is the hungry never get fed. If you act hungry, it, it, you, don't, you don't get what you want, okay? You need to act as if you already have women in your life. You need to act as if you already have an abundance of dating options. If you're around a pretty girl or a beautiful woman or a woman who's taking interest in you, you need to act as if this is an average, everyday, common occurrence for you. Now, when you keep your sexual market value high, okay, that means taking care of your body, making sure that you are confident, making sure that you like what you do and you're living a life of purpose, making sure you are living life on your own terms and not anybody else's. When you as a man keep your sexual market value high, what you're gonna notice is that you keep attracting more and more women. The more women you keep attracting, the easier it is for you to either maintain that current girlfriend that you have or develop new options that could be a better fit for you in the future. When you focus on you, your path, your vision, your mission, your principles in life, when you focus on you, you naturally keep your sexual market value high. Your body and your mind and your spirit will gravitate towards activities that are naturally masculine. Okay, this is important. Now, when you do this and you focus on you, you focus on you day to day and what you have going on and you do not make women the primary focus in your life, you make your purpose the primary focus in life, now women actually want to come into your life. They see that this guy's going somewhere or they see that this guy is doing things that they find attractive. Maybe he has an active social life. Maybe he has an active network. Maybe he is on a mission to do something. Maybe he's trying to accomplish specific goals or maybe when he parties or when he's around people, other people just think he's charismatic, captivating and cool. It doesn't matter what the reason is, but avoiding bullshit comes down to keeping your sexual market value high. This will allow you also to know that you're probably always demonstrating the correct attraction mechanisms that will naturally raise her interest. This right here, step by step, is exactly why women hide their attraction mechanisms from men. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe. Be sure to check out that webinar down below in the description and we will see you in the next one.